in order to do the painting, you're going to want to use some watercolor pencils. These are water soluble pencils. I've got a purple, a blue, a red. Oops, this is a black, so. No, it's a dark blue. Blue, purple, red, and light blue. So, what you're going to do is you're going to take your and see how when they shine, sometimes they're like a darker on the edge and they're a lighter in the middle. So you're going to have to mimic that look, darker on the edge, lighter in the middle. So what I would do, and I would take, when you're coloring, you're going to color. You want to leave that highlight in the middle. I'm going to go really dark on the edge. Now since this is longer, I may want to have a section here that goes up longer so my highlight's kind of in the middle. Maybe use a little light blue towards the middle section. And I want this one to be kind of purpley blue. So I'm going to take this purple and go around the edge so it kind of has like a purple tint to it too. So these are nice because you can blend with them. Go lighter in the middle a little bit, a little lighter, but I want to do dark on the edge. I want it a bluey purple. Okay, so shaded that in a little bit. See how it's shaded in? Kind of light in the middle, done some highlighting. Then you're going to take some water. And a medium to large brush. Now you have to use the water and you're gonna paint. You're gonna start at the edge and you're gonna blend and kind of go. You want the edge to be dark and as you get to that middle you want to leave that open. So I'm going on the edge and going to the middle. That dark edge. Now, if you want a little bit of highlight here, I can just do water. Just dip it in the water and kind of blend that color that's there. So I'm going to go back to the edge and get this dark. Because I want that outline to be dark. little bit of highlight there. See how that's got dark to light and I only used water. So it's kind of dark to light and it's kind of got a purpley edge. See how some of these stones have some different colors to them. So you got darks and lights. Some of them have some greens and some blues so you can use some different colors as long as they're kind of side by side on the color wheel. So once you have it painted the next step you're going to do is you're going to add the little white highlight because that's that that shine. See how you have that shine right there? So once it's dry, you're going to take a dry one like this. And you're going to take some temper paint. So it's just the regular temper paint and a small very small brush. You're going to dip it in the temper paint and you're just going to add a highlight around the edge. 
So I'm just going to have a thick highlight, a thick one that kind of goes to a point and then it kind of tapers out, kind of like some little dots. Thick. And then you can kind of do some little, little dots. But it's just kind of a little highlight. And that adds that little shine that you would see, like a res reflection of the light, depending, usually it's like around the edge, and that's what you're gonna add, the highlights. So, once you're done with that, you're going to do some shading. So, you're gonna use some charcoal. And this is willow charcoal. It's a really, really soft charcoal. And you're just going to draw a little around the edge. See how I drew a little around the edge? Then you're going to take your finger and you're just going to blend it. See how that adds a little darkened edge to it? And that will make it look, you gotta watch, cause see how dark your hands are? You're gonna have to be really careful about where you're touching on your stone. So I would draw it all first. And you're just doing a little edge. And I would even have like a paper towel or something around. And then I'd use the same finger every time to kind of go around in a circle. See how I'm kind of going around and blending kind of into that middle section. See how that now has that kind of dark edge so it looks like it's rounded? See how it makes it look like it's rounded now compared to here's with the dark, here's without. See how that adds a little extra texture to it? Then, next step, you take white paper. You're going to cut a shape out of the paper. Uh, black paper to give it a top and a bottom just like a shape to kind of give it look almost like it's setting on something and you're gonna have your three stones and you're going to place them on here you're gonna have some overlapping so if I was to cut the third one out maybe it would go like right here so you'd have that third one right there now wherever it overlaps you're gonna take that charcoal again and you're going to do some shading. So if I was to stick these here, I would shade this around here so that it would stand up on top. This right here, I'd have shadows right here. So I'd put this right here, then I would shade. So it looks like I'd have a shadow right here. These would be glued down, so it'd be a little easier. So then it has that look of being, you can't see it very well because you're having let me move this down so you can see what I'm talking about. Actually, let me shade a little bit more. Blend it. There, you can see a little bit better. Then it has that look of being shadowed. But you would go around this stone here with that charcoal too. So this one looks like it's on top of this one. I don't have these glued down right now because it's still wet from that paint, so I don't want to do that yet. But then you would layer all three of your pieces, and that would be the last step.